Here are 25 accidental inventions that revolutionized our world. 25. Aiming to create a cure for headaches and anxiety, John Pemberton created a syrup from wine and coca extract. When his home of Atlanta banned the sale of alcohol in 1885, he removed the wine from the syrup recipe and included carbonated water, thus creating the beginning of Coca-Cola. 24. Accidentally created by Swiss chemist Albert Hoffman, LSD was first created in 1938 as an attempt at a circulatory stimulant. Five years later, Hoffman made another batch of LSD-25 on a hunch, simply because he, quote, liked the chemical structure of the substance. While recrystallizing a few hundredths of a gram to analyze, Hoffman accidentally ingested some, leading to the first acid trip in history. 23. The co-owner and cook of the Toll House Inn B&B, Ruth Graves Wakefield, was making her popular butter drop dough cookies one day in 1936 when she ran out of baker's chocolate. Grabbing some sweetened chocolate she had on hand, Wakefield diced it up and added it to the cookies. To her surprise, it didn't melt entirely, but stayed relatively whole. Thus, the chocolate chip cookie was born. 22. 11-year-old Frank Epperson was making a fruit-flavored soda from powder and water, but forgot about it overnight. With the stirring spoon still in the cup, the mixture hardened in the freezing temperatures outside. He pulled the stick out and loved the treat he inadvertently made. Years later, he served them in a fireman's ball, and the popsicle became a huge hit. 21. Those searching for a panacea drug Sir Alexander Fleming found a curious happening in one of his discarded petri dishes. A rapidly growing mold was preventing the surrounding bacteria in the dish from encroaching on it. Growing the mold individually, he isolated the powerful antibiotic, penicillin. 20. In 1946, U.S. aerospace and defense contractor Raytheon hired Percy Spencer to work on radar technology. While experimenting with a vacuum tube using microwaves, a candy bar in Spencer's pocket began melting. He ran to grab some popcorn kernels, holding them near the tube, and they began popping, making popcorn the first ever food cooked by a microwave oven. 19. The Slinky, many a child's favorite toy, was made by naval engineer Richard Jones. While designing a meter to measure power on battleships, he dropped one of the tension springs he was working with. As it bounced around on the floor, he realized its potential as a toy. 18. After years of humans trying to produce non-rusting steel, Harry Brearley from Sheffield, England was successful in 1912. Experimenting to make gun barrels which wouldn't wear down, he tried developing a steel alloy which wouldn't erode. After many experiments, he found a sample reinforced with chromium which hadn't rusted in his rejected alloy pile. The mixing of chromium with air created a thin protective film which prevented rusting. Thus, stainless steel was born. 17. Two Pfizer Pharmaceuticals employees, Simon Campbell and David Roberts, found an accidental use for their drug intended to treat high blood pressure. Unfortunately, it didn't do much to lower blood pressure, but male participants reported frequent erections while taking the pill. Next tested as a remedy for erectile dysfunction, Viagra was approved in 1998 by the FDA. 16. Saccharin was first produced by Konstantin Falberg, a Johns Hopkins University researcher. While trying to find new uses for coal tar, he found his wife's biscuits much sweeter than normal one evening in 1879. Rushing to figure out what caused it, he found remnants from his lab tests, namely saccharin, on his hands. 15. A Washburn Crosby Company cook was preparing some gruel when part of the mixture fell onto the hot stove and sizzled. Trying the cracked flakes, he found the result much more appetizing, and Wheaties was born. 14. In 1898, while boiling grains to make granola, John and Will Kellogg forgot a pot on the stove for a few days. Upon returning, they found a thick, dry mixture. Some experiments later, the mold was taken out of the equation, and the first cornflakes were eaten. 
13. In the late 1800s, German physicist Wilhelm Röntgen was experimenting with cathode ray tubes. Adding electricity, the tubes would glow. After surrounding the tubes with black cardboard, he was surprised that a nearby chemical also glowed, since all light was supposed to be kept within the cardboard. Testing the invisible rays on his wife's hand, he soon realized they can pass through flesh, wood, and a variety of substances. Unsure of what was happening, he called his accidental invention X-rays, the X meaning unknown. 12. A chemist by trade, Alfred Nobel was working to find ways to stabilize the highly volatile liquid nitroglycerin. When transporting some one day, the can broke open, but a big explosion didn't follow. Kieselger, a sedimentary rock mixture in which the cans were packed, absorbed the liquid without hampering its explosive power. He continued researching and soon created what we know today as dynamite. 11. In 1968, researchers Spencer Silver and Art Fry developed a soft adhesive but couldn't find any use for it. While practicing hymns with his church choir, Fry found his place marking papers kept falling out and remembered their old idea from years earlier. In 1980, 12 years after its original discovery, 3M launched post-it notes. 10. In the 1800s, laughing parties, or ether frolics, where guests would consume such vapors as ether and nitrous oxide, were all the rage. At a party in 1844, Horace Wells noticed a man had injured his leg and was bleeding, but reported feeling no pain. Wells soon removed his own tooth under the gas's influences and found its immense value during painful medical procedures, and thus anesthesia was born. 9. Silly Putty was designed by James Wright of General Electric. He was testing silicon oil during World War II to make a substitute for rubber, which was high in demand by the military. After adding boric acid to some silicon oil in 1943, he was left with a bouncy, gooey, gelatinous mess. 8. An electrical engineer, John Hobbs was researching hypothermia in the mid-20th century and attempting to use radio frequency heating to boost body temperatures after a major drop. His research led him to discover the heart's suitability to restarting by using electrical impulses, and the artificial pacemaker was born. 7. The 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis was a hot event. With ice cream and waffle vendors next to each other, ice cream was a popular buy, but no one wanted to buy hot waffles. When an ice cream vendor ran out of paper cups, Ernest Hamwee rolled up one of his waffles and gave it to him to put ice cream in. It was an immediate hit. 6. George Crumb of the Cary Moon Lake House in New York met a tough customer who kept sending his french fries back, complaining they weren't thin or crispy enough. After multiple tries, Crumb got angry and sliced the potatoes paper thin, deep fried them until overly crisp, and served them. The customer loved the slivers, and thus the potato chip, or crisp, was born in 1853. Five. English chemist John Walker was stirring chemicals when he found a dried lump forming on the end of his wooden mixing stick. He scraped off the goo, which immediately ignited. Realizing the potential, he began selling his friction lights in a tin box with a piece of sandpaper. 4. Developed by Eastman Kodak researcher Harry Coover, superglue was initially a nuisance, sticking to everything it touched and complicating his experiments. Years later, Coover realized his accidental invention could be used for a host of applications, including his famous lifting of TV show host Gary Moore off the ground with a single drop of superglue. 3. Electrical engineer George de Mestral came in from walking his dog to find cockleburr fruits all over the dog's coat. Pulling out a microscope, he found the fruits dotted with hooks which allowed them to connect to other objects. A short time later, he decided nylon was the best material to recreate the natural phenomenon and named it Velcro. 2. 
While attempting to make an artificial version of a malarial drug, William Perkin created a dark, oily sludge that seemed fit to throw away. Testing his curiosity, he discovered it turned silk a brilliant light purple color, which was brighter than existing dyes and didn't wash out. Perkin had created the color mauve, which became one of the most popular of the time. 1. Plastics were initially discovered by Charles Goodyear. Combining rubber and sulfur, he accidentally placed the material on a hot stove. Upon discovering his mistake, he found a strong, durable material achieved via the process of vulcanization. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.